Hey, it's Karsh. Welcome to OneTap Check-In. I'm going to show the very basics of how to use OneTap. OneTap makes it very easy to create a list. A list is great for events, sign-in sheets, courses, programs, seminars, meetings, or practices. I'm going to create a list here called Daily Sign-Ins. Uh, just give it a time and a date. You can also select a recurring schedule. This makes sense for repeating events, sign-in sheets, which are going to be happening on a daily basis, courses, programs, or meetings that repeat. You can ask for a signature when someone checks in, ask them to take a photo, or ask them to answer a set of survey questions. You can also allow the checkout. As soon as you create a list, you can import an Excel file. You simply go into Add Profiles and do Upload Excel. Excel files do not have to be anything magical. All you need is the name column. The rest of the columns are custom fields. The email and phone number column is reserved for our system. These help you. Uh, this helps us identify unique people inside of your lists. As soon as you import a list, our system will start processing this information and show you everyone's names right here. You can go on the iPad kiosk app People can simply search their name and we'll auto populate that and check in. Simple as that. Furthermore, you can also go into the behind the desk mode. This is where you will see everyone's names on the list. You can hit the circle next to a person's name and check in someone. If you tap on that again, you get the option to check out. Tap on the person's name and you can view information such as check-in, check-out, the location of where the check-in happened, as well as all the custom fields. You can also update the custom fields here as well. All this information is synced from our dashboard and the iOS app in real time. You can also look at the person's historical visit information. You can add more people to the list based off the unique people that are in the system. You can also create unique names here as well. You can also enter the kiosk mode and choose to do check-ins by profile where people are asked which list they want to check into instead of determining the list up front. Here's an example. The analytics we offer on this page are very basic, but they're extremely useful as well. You can figure out who has checked in, how many people have yet to check in. You can also download this data as Excel and we will export everyone's information and their check-in timestamps. The Profiles tab aggregates all the people on different lists in one place. We use the email, name, or phone number as a unique identifier in this process. Think of this as your contacts uh, contacts inside of your phone or inside of your address book. You can look at the overall attendance data here. You can download everyone's attendance data into Excel. You can update values here as well, just like what we did on iOS. You can also add new fields here as well. So if you wanted to add a birthday, a company name, or number of guests, you could do that here. You can also edit the person's court or, or their basic information. You can also delete this person as well. More advanced analytics are available when you hit the download analytics button. We export everything from total attendance to specific list attendance and give you a whole entire export on every single check-in that has ever happened inside of your account. We would love to do and do a online demo for you for your specific use case. So feel free to reach out to us on our calendar link.